Hi, I'm Peter Kahn, the Bee Whisperer. I am going to have a look at uh, the nukes where I had uh, made my new queens. And uh, we'll start off with the cell builder colony I've got here. We are now almost three weeks. I'm not 100% sure how long it's been since the... Uh, I'm looking at the cell builder colony here. It's been a little while since the uh, uh, queens emerged. They should be getting close. They should have mated by now and should be getting close to there being some larvae in there. So hopefully, which as I think it's around about the two week mark or between two and three weeks since they emerged. I think it's two and a half weeks right now. So we'll have a quick look and see if we have some larvae in there and if we do we'll start looking at other colonies too i put some super up here for them to move into i don't know if they've done anything with it yet Customers arriving. Okay. Now, not a great deal going on here yet. But let's have a look and see if we can see anything going on down here. Oh. Actually, there's more weight than I thought up on the one side. Some weight to it. Plenty of honey. Loaded with honey. And pollen. So plenty of resources here. Let's have a look nearer the middle though. And what do you know? I have larvae here. Is this from our new queen? That is pretty darn fast. Look at all that brood already here. Our queen in here has not only got brood here, but uh, cat brood as well. So developing nice brood here amongst the pollen that's already here. She's been busy. We've got cat brood on three frames now. Be nice to see one of our new queens. It's probably, we saw her when she was busy killing her sisters. Four frame to the cat brood on and pollen. It's having to be scattered around because there was so much food in this colony. The uh, she's having to move around to find space in each one, each frame. But she's got a nice uh, softball-sized cluster of larvae, which the bees had cleared out of space for her. With cat brood, nice pattern, surrounded by enormous amounts of pollen, etc. It's quite typical of what these frames are looking like. Nice pattern of brood there. That's four frames of brood. Partly filled with brood, that is, of course. And some space to move into here.
And here's a frame that's relatively empty, which I'm going to push in the middle, give that queen somewhere to lay. I suspect she's upstairs in the upper part of the brood chamber here. But I'm going to move this into the middle of that space to give her a central, central comb to lay on, which is mostly space there. Move the honey to the outside edges. Put this frame, which had some brood on it, back in the middle. And I'll shake it off just in case, because I don't want to... Don't want to accidentally squish a queen on here. Put this back up top. It feels like the bees were occupying some of these combs here. That's probably where our queen is. Filling it up with honey up here. So while we're not seeing the queen yet, we can certainly see that she's been busy. There's space up here to store some food, but the queen's not laying up here yet, so. So, progress is being made in the cell builder. Quite a bit more progress than I would have anticipated. So this was the, obviously the absolutely first queen to emerge. So, we'll look inside some more of those uh, nukes shortly. But first, I'll see to the customer. Okay, so that's inspired me to have a look in some of these nukes. Made some, see how we did with the queen cells we made those, with the, with the nukes we made using the queen cells from the cell builder. Let's see what our results seem like. This one was relatively sparse of bees. The problem with making nukes in the same yard that you take your bees from is a lot of the bees will drift back and so I've got quite a disparity between some nukes which have few bees in and some nukes which are full of bees. I'll balance those out in, Duke, uh, in the coming week but uh, this is one of the ones that got very few in it. Here's the queen cup here well, let's just look at the frames as we go along first. Plenty of pollen, resources, bit of honey, loads of pollen for the amount of bees on this comb there. And we have a virgin, we've got a queen here. That's nice. Got the queen here. And do we have eggs? I don't see the eggs yet, but that's, that's not very good light today. I can't get the sun at my back. There's honey. We've got a queen. Got 
the remnants of our queen cup there. Just check the other main frame, which if she got larvae, she may have started on this one. I don't see brood in here yet. So, early days. It's amazing the differences between how quickly one queen will emerge and start to lay compared to the others. These queens came out on the same day. This queen has not yet got brood, whereas that other queen has capped brood on four frames already. Amazing. Okay. So a queen, but no brood yet. few more bees in this colony. It's not impossible that it's proportional, how much brood there is is proportional to how many bees there is to look after it and how quickly they develop brood. Okay, plenty of bees, plenty of food, nice lot of pollen. And we've got brood, nice frame brood with capped brood here and a nice pattern all the way around it. This is certainly all the work of our new queen in here. Beautiful frame of brood here, as opposed to the other ones, she's got room to lay right out and she's laying right out to the edges on this frame. frame of young larvae here. No cat brood on this one, but full of young larvae, covering two-thirds of the this side of the frame. A young larvae on this side of the frame also. So we don't need to see the queen. See that she's got brood. That's what we're looking for. So that's three queens out of three, two with brood so far. Bit more brood, a bit more bees rather in this one. Starting to draw some comb here. A little bit going funky, so we'll cut that out and that out. Help them build it straight. Frame of food. Honey. Pollen. There's certainly a nice honey flow on. Look at all that pollen. 
nice frame of resources there. This should be the edge of the brood if she's got some. And she does. This frame is filling up with brood, just starting to cap some here and some young larvae, taking right out to eggs right to the edges here. Beautiful. She started here and she's worked all the way for the rest of the frame here. Beautiful. Eggs right out to the edge. Some homegrown Saskatraz bees. They should overwinter beautifully. Oh, look at that. That's what we like to see. She's made a good case for herself here. Well, that's for sure. Really fill that up with brood. So she's not as big and fat as she could be yet, so it's harder to find. And the light's not great for my old eyes, but uh, they're getting plenty of resources here. Developed two nice frames of brood there. So that's four. Not quite as many bees here. At least not at the top. Nice drawn comb here. Storing food. Drawing out the comb. Drawing out the comb is always a good sign. Great thing about the fall honey flow, everything goes bright orange. Wax, everything. Gives it a very healthy look. Well, by the look of it, there should, I, I think I can see eggs in there, but the light's not quite good enough. Actually, yes, I can see eggs in here, good. So this one is again like one of the others with a less well developed, less well advanced brood, but I can certainly see eggs in there. But we're going to keep an eye on these just in case it's my it's wishful thinking and any that don't have brood in here are going to be consolidated 
with others. So I'm going to give them a bit more time, but I'm I'm fairly confident I see eggs in there, but I'm not really 100% sure. But I haven't seen the queen in this one yet. Often you can tell by the state of the queen cell, but we've left it rather a long time, so there's no queen cell left to look at. So, because you can tell whether she's emerged or whether the cell's been torn down. But uh, no reason to think the cell was torn down. Lots of honey here. Lots of honey, lots of brood. Sorry, lots of pollen rather. And there's a the queen, in fact. Here's our queen here. So I'm pretty sure I did see eggs after all. We will do soon anyway. She's developing out quite nicely. So just like the other one where the eggs weren't, the uh, brood wasn't that advanced yet. We've still got uh, seen a queen. So we know we've got queens in all the hives so far. So, so, so far so good. The cell builder has got four frames of brood in it. And so far these four nukes all have a queen. Two of them have at least two frames of brood right up to capped brood. The other two Definitely have queens, but not necessarily uh, laying yet, but I'm pretty sure they are. We'll see if we see a difference. So a lot more bees. That should mean a lot more honey, a lot more pollen. So it's gonna be crowded by comparison. Frames are sticking on there. Well, from the inside, it doesn't look like there's any more bees. <laughs> Talking a little rubbish, huh? They've certainly taken a lot of, uh, put a lot of honey in here. frame full of honey and pollen. Full of pollen and honey. Again, that light is just not good enough for me to tell whether I've got brood or not. Definitely not as many bees as I would have imagined. Looking at the scattered nature here, I would say this may not have worked, this one. Unless we see a queen, and she hasn't started to lay yet. So we've got resources, all sorts of resources. I don't see a sign of a queen in this one. Have another quick look to see if I can see the queen herself.
Okay, I'm going to hazard a guess and say this one, the Queen, did not make it. But we'll see. I'll check it again in a few more days, maybe a week. And the other ones will have brood by then. The question is, will this one? bees full of bees we're drawing comb Here's our queen. Queen is right here. I don't have to see brood now. I know we've got a going concern here. You can just see some eggs and developing larvae in there. So this high population hive Certainly got a queen. There's some developing brood here with some capped brood. And more capped brood here. So this one's coming along great. Building comb. Plenty of pollen. A few more bees flying up. Bees flying up and showing a little bit more aggression like that, often a sign that there isn't a queen. Don't see brood in here yet. There is brood in the next one. I can see brood in the next frame. Frame full of brood and young larvae. We certainly have a queen in here. Full of brood and young larvae, looks great. So that's a definite yes. The other reason that bees fly up like that is because the weather's crappy, which is what it is right here, right now. We don't, there's not many bees out foraging right now. Not as many as there should be. So we have lots of field bees at home right now.
And as we know, field bees are the grumpy ones. And if you shake the comb slightly, they get grumpy. Now I can see some eggs in here. So strictly speaking, I don't need to go any further. I can see eggs. But we'll just have a look to see a decent frame of brood too. Yep. New larvae, full of young larvae, right up to the beginnings of them capping the brood. Same on this side. Lovely frame of brood developing here. Just see it starting to get capped. I can see more capped brood on the next frame. So we have another yes here. So, so far, I think I've got one suspected no. And eight yeses. Not bad. So I'll continue to go through the uh, nukes and not bother me looking at the same thing again and again and again. But what I've got so far is one that I suspect the queen has not taken or she didn't come back from her mating flight um, or just well behind the others. I've got two where I can see the queen, but I don't see brood yet. I think I can see eggs, but I'm not positive because my eyes aren't that good. And then we have, out of those nine I've been through, the other uh, six all have uh, brood. Uh, most of them have some capped brood as well. So I would say that uh, that's about an 80 plus percent uh, success rate. And that should be very good. I've got a few more nukes to go through, uh, but I'm not going to go through them on this video. I've got nukes where I had so many bees, I've added a second story. Again, because there was a colony here that I split to make those nukes. A lot of field bees went there. Some bees here, nukes here. These six and these, these three here. These three here are from my second batches of queens and the previous four with the double story and these four are from the first batch. So, looks pretty good. So I would call my uh, queen rearing this year a great success. I'm really pleased. I have some nice Sassitras queens who've hardly done any laying this year It'll be rearing to go next year. I would definitely say that if you're interested in queen rearing, you should give it a try. It's uh, very interesting, absolutely fascinating in fact. Uh, it can give you uh, colonies, a lot more colonies. It may even get you into uh, producing nukes and selling nukes for that matter. Uh, but it's certainly a great way to perpetuate the bees that do well the way you breed, keep your bees, you're breeding from your best queens, and you're making an overall, overall, you're making a contribution to hives that have done well for you here in Maine or wherever you are in the conditions which do well in your area. So you're breeding from the best of the best, really. I hope you uh, give it a try. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.